Use the image Hydrophobic Barrier Pen to apply a waxy barrier to the slide. This barrier will localize the antibody solutions to the section, allowing you to use less solution per section or to use different antibody solutions on different sections on the same slide. If you are using the pen for the first time, give the pen a good shake. Depress the nib into the pen by pressing down on the pen tip on a soft surface like a couple of paper towels. The blue solution will fill the nib and the pen will be ready for use. Use the pen to draw a line between tissue sections on a slide or to draw circles around each section on the slide. Use the imprint pen to label the slides. The imprint pen is resistant to most organic solvents like alcohols and clearing agents that are commonly used in staining protocols. The Vectastain ABC kit is based on the tight binding of avidin for biotin. The system is modular. Any biotinylated secondary or biotinylated primary can be detected with the ABC reagent and the appropriate substrate. The kit is named for the primary antibody that is recognized. That is, the mouse IgG kit contains a biotinylated anti-mouse IgG secondary that binds to mouse primary antibodies. This kit also contains normal horse serum and the A and B reagents which make up the ABC reagent complex. All the incubations using these kit reagents occur at room temperature. According to the instructions, make up the working solutions for the ABC kit by diluting the stock reagents. This may be done in empty dropper bottles provided or in the polypropylene tubes as shown. Add three drops of normal horse serum into 10 mils of buffer and mix well. Remove the slides from the buffer and briefly wipe the excess buffer with the tissue as shown. Cover the sections with diluted normal horse serum, usually about 100 microliters is required. The normal horse serum serves as a general protein block to minimize nonspecific interactions of subsequent detection reagents. Depending on your application and blocking requirements, a blocking solution composed of between 1.5 and 10 percent normal horse serum would be reasonable. Incubate for 20 minutes in a moistened, darkened chamber as shown. Dilute the primary antibody in diluted normal horse serum. Optimal dilution needs to be determined. If your antibody is commercially available, a recommended range may be supplied. Tip off the excess serum from the sections onto a stack of paper towels as shown. Cover the section with the diluted primary antibody solution. The optimal incubation times needs to be determined. A recommended range may be supplied by the antibody manufacturer. Rinse the slides by passing a stream of buffer from a wash bottle gently over the section as shown. Place the slides in a Coplin jar and incubate in buffer for 5 minutes. Add one drop of the secondary antibody stock into 10 ml of diluted normal horse serum. Again, a polypropylene bottle or the empty dropper bottle can be used. Blot the buffer from the sections as shown. Cover the sections with diluted secondary antibody solution. Usually 100 microliters is sufficient. Incubate for 30 minutes.
rinse the sections and place the slides in a Copland jar for five minutes. Prepare the Vectastain Elite ABC reagent according to the instructions. A convenient time to do this is during the incubation of the slides in the secondary antibody solution. Add two drops of reagent A into five mils of buffer and mix. Then add two drops of reagent B into the same solution and mix. Let the solution stand for about 30 minutes before use to allow the proper complex to form. Blot the buffer from the sections and cover the sections with the Elite ABC reagent. Incubate for 30 minutes. Rinse the slides with buffer, then incubate in buffer for 5 minutes.